Hi everyone, it's Tess from the Arty Crafty Place. So thank you for joining me today. I thought as this is my first video tutorial of 2021, I'm going to cover with you how to clean your printing blocks, your equipment, and make the most of your paints. So these are kind of key things that I think everyone should know for when you're block printing at home. It's really gonna help you make the most of your printing products and make sure that they're gonna last forever. So a couple of bits I want to cover. Let's make the first one fabric paint. So obviously your paint is precious. You've purchased it, you want it to last as long as possible and you want to make the most out of it. So I've got a couple of tips that I like to show you of how I make the most of my paint. So I've poured my paint onto my paint tray. Obviously, like you probably all know, it's best to start with a little at a time and then add more as you go on. But if you do get to the end of your printing day and you find that you've got a lot of leftover paint on your tray, you can easily pop your tray in the fridge overnight and this will last for a couple of days in there if you know you're going to come back to it in a couple of days. So if I finish a printing project one evening but I know I'm going to print the next day as well, instead of washing it up and then wasting some of your paint, I just pop it in the fridge and it will last in there. Or what you can do is scrape some of the paint back into the pot. So I've got some midnight blue still on my tray here. So what I'm going to do is unscrew my lid and with my sponge, I'm going to scoop the paint up and I'm just going to squeeze this back into the pot. And this just means that I'm not wasting any paint by washing it down the sink. Like we said, your paint is precious and you want to get the most out of it as you possibly can. So I'm going to scrape that back in and also make sure you give your sponges a good squeeze on your paint tray. These also hold a lot of paint, which you may notice when you're washing up, you squeeze a lot of paint out of them. So just really give that a good scrape. And there we go. I've been able to save another printing sessions worth of paint. Another tip that I've got for you is if you've got a paint pot that's got only a little bit left in, make sure you use a paintbrush and you scoop as much paint out as you can because a lot of it will get stuck in there around the edges. So you can scoop a lot out. So that's a really handy tip for when you've got paint pots that haven't got much paint left in them. But I've been able to scoop out a really good amount there that will definitely allow me to do a lot more printing. So that's something else that's really key to bear in mind. And another way that you can use your leftover paint is you may have seen on a previous video on our YouTube channel that we used an empty pot of paint to dye some fabric. So the way you do this is rather than scooping any paint left onto a paint tray, what you would do is you would empty and rinse out this pot into a washing up bowl with about 500 ml of hot water. So really give it a good rinse so the pot is completely clean and the lid and then you'll have some nice dyed water. Now this water you can then use to dye some material. So I had some scrap cotton which I then submerged in the dyed water and I was able to dye my own fabric. So this is really great if you want to dye some pieces of fabric for a printing project or just to kind of create some different colour backgrounds. So this one was with lavender, I got a nice purple, I also had an empty pot of rose that I used and turquoise. So that's another just really good tip that you can keep in the back of your mind for when you've got any leftover paint. Like I said, you want to make the most out of your paint and you want to use it in as many ways as you possibly can. So that's some good tips. So next I'm going to head over to the sink and I'm going to show you how to wash up your equipment. Now this is really important as we get a lot of questions about it. It's going to involve cleaning your printing blocks and how to clean your equipment. So once you've followed the instructions about how not to waste your paint and scoop any excess back into your pot, you're now ready for washing up. So I've got my used paint tray and my printing blocks. So I run myself a bowl of hot soapy water. I've just used a little bit of fairy up liquid in there and I'm gonna put my blocks in. So I've got my painty printing blocks here and I'm just gonna pop them in and leave them to soak just for a couple of minutes. You don't want to leave them any longer than that because they are wooden and you don't want them to start absorbing that water. But just a couple of minutes in there to kind of soak some of that paint will work really well. In the meantime, I'm just gonna wash up my equipment. So I've got my sponges and my paint tray here. And what you're gonna do is just wash these in the hot soapy water until they're all clean and they've got no paint left on them and then you can just leave them aside to dry. So 
So I have now scrubbed my paint tray, so all of the wet paint is off of that. It does stay a little bit stained, but that's not a problem. That's just the paint on the paint tray. And also I have washed and squeezed out all the water from my sponges. So these are now nice and clean, ready to dry. As you can see, these also stay a bit stained, but that's okay. It just adds to the creative feel of them. And now to your printing blocks. So what you're going to want to do is you want to want to use a nail brush. Now it can either be soft or hard. It doesn't really matter. And with your soaked blocks, you're just going to give them a good scrub. Now this will get all of the paint out the detail. So it will keep your blocks feeling really fresh and new. And each time you print with them, after your printing session, you should make sure you give them a good wash and get all of the paint out. You may find that with your designs, the white paint on the surface of the block starts to fade or come off. Now, we get lots of questions about this, but it's not a problem. The white paint is just there so that we can see the design and the detail. So if this comes off after a couple of printing sessions when you're washing the block, don't worry, you don't need to reapply it. It's just a kind of protective layer so we can see the design. So these have all had a nice scrub and all the paint is out of the detail and they're very clear. So I'm just going to give them a quick rinse off with clean water and then leave them to dry. And there we have my lovely clean printing blocks. So I'm just going to leave them on a towel upside down. You want to wait for them to be perfectly dry before you pack them away. So the last piece of printing equipment that we didn't cover at the sink is your foam printing mat. Now mine is really quite painty as I've been doing a lot of printing on it lately, but this doesn't need to be washed. You could wipe it down with a warm damp cloth if you wanted to, but really you just need to put it aside, let it dry and it's perfectly fine to use for your next printing session. So don't worry about washing this piece of equipment. So I hope those tips have helped. I do think they're kind of basic things that will really help your printing at home. You know, keeping your blocks clean and paint free is really important as this is gonna make them last so much longer. My workshop blocks that are kind of used every day, they have become quite clogged of paint now as I don't get a chance to wash each and every one of them after they've been used. So they have started to clog up to the point where I do need to replace them. But with your printing blocks at home, as long as you wash them after every printing session, you should never need to replace them and they will last forever. You just need to take care of them. Just remember, don't soak the printing blocks, just leave them in the sink for no longer than five minutes, give them a good scrub off and then leave them to dry then you can pack them away for your next printing session. So I hope that's helped and covered a few things that will be helpful at home. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!